Are you looking for a way to easily add security to your CAN networks? In this video, you'll learn about our TJA1153 secure CAN transceiver and how it does exactly that. So if you're looking for a security upgrade in your network architecture, stick around. Our smart transceivers are already used in cars, trucks, as well as industrial machinery. We specially designed this as a drop-in replacement so it really can be used anywhere you have a CAN network. And as I said, this product is all about security. From the start of development, security has been at the top of our minds. For example, if you are looking to achieve compliance to UNECE Cybersecurity Regulation R155, the transceiver could help you get there. Before we get into the actual features, I want to make clear that the TJA1153 is a hardware-only security mechanism. It serves as an additional security layer for accessing the CAN network without software overhead. So all of the following features are really rooted in hardware. Here are the measures we've implemented to protect the CAN network. First, we have pass and block lists. You can configure them within the hardware, so CAN IDs are either blocked or let through. Here, the TJA1153 acts as a simple authentication mechanism for local CAN networks that doesn't rely on cryptography. Secondly, our transceiver prevents denial of service on the network from a compromised host microcontroller. You can set your own thresholds and parameters within the hardware, depending on your needs. Lastly, if you're working with IDPS software providers, IDPS meaning intrusion detection and prevention systems, then this will be interesting for you. In the event of a security violation, our TJA1153 invalidates the malicious message in real time, thwarting the attack. It will disconnect the host microcontroller from the network, which enables the IDPS software to easily identify which microcontroller was compromised. So there you have it. This transceiver here protects your CAN network from spoofing, tampering, and denial of service attacks. It is also a great ally to IDPS software. The TJA1153 supports classical CAN, high-speed CAN, and CAN FD communication. The TJA1153 was designed for sleep mode. If you're looking for a part in standby mode, check out the TJA1152. Really, check it out. We threw all of NXP security expertise at this, and it turned out to be a true game changer. You can learn more on our product page at nxp.com slash TGA1153. There you'll find further videos, specifications, and documents. We also have an evaluation board to get you started right away. The link is in the description below.